Welcome to the video that's going to show you how to use the ttsmp3.com website. I'm going to show you how I used it to, to create a unit. So I created a unit where I have different images. I set it up to where you can click on it and it will play the sound from their Google Drive. And then you click the play button and they just said kitten so the student then would take it and drag it to the kitten box. This unit would be for students who are struggling with English or learning English. So as you can see each slide has different images and a different sound. Then when they get to the last part of the unit they need to know how to pronounce in English these different animals. So for example this is cheetah they would need to know how to spell it. They would go to the site and scroll down and type in cheetah and there's several different voices they can choose from for English. So they can experiment with them and then hit read. So they keep doing this until they find a voice that they like. I actually like Matthews so what you can do is you can go ahead and choose download as mp3. So when it's downloaded it goes to your downloads folder. You can scroll down here and choose show in folder and I'm going to right click on it and rename it Cheetah. Now as the teacher you could set this up like I did. I'll show you how I set it up on the slides. I had to put it in my Google Drive. So I'm going to go to a folder in Google Drive. I'm going to click on the Google Apps in the upper right corner and choose Drive. And let's say you're starting from scratch and you want to put all sounds in a folder. You would choose New, New Folder in the upper left corner. And I'll call this Animals and then choose Create. Now I have so many things in my Google Drive so it might take a while to populate. Now if it's not showing up right away I can type in Animals in the search window and then hit Enter. And I'm going to go ahead and view it in Layout. I have several things called Animal. I have another folder called Animals, so this is confusing, but this is the one I just created. You can see the time is 4.53. I'm going to right click and choose Share, Share again. I'm going to change it from Restricted to Anyone with the link and choose Done. That way anything that goes into that folder will be able to be heard by anyone that clicks on the link. If you don't change the Share settings, only you can hear the sounds, which could be a problem. I'm going to rename it something else because I don't want two animal folders so I'll right click and choose rename and I'll call it animals English language. I'm also going to right click and I'm going to change the color by choosing organize and then changing it to a different color. I like colors in Google Drive. So now what I'm going to do is open up that folder. I will choose new file upload and there's the cheetah. I'll go ahead and double click on that. Now you're in a position to share the sound. So I'll show you how I set it up on my slide. You would choose insert audio and if you choose the most recent then it should show that cheetah sound. I'll go ahead and double click on the cheetah sound and if you want you can make the sound icon a little larger. You could even go over to the format options in the upper corner of the screen, choose recolor and then change the color. Now what will happen is the student will come in, they'll scroll over it and they'll be able to play the sound. So they could literally set it up like this so when they scroll over they can hear the sound. The possibilities for this site are tremendous. You can do a lot of language projects using this fabulous site. This concludes the session on how to use the ttsmp3.com website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.